we want to talk about Mario 35? Who played it? Who played Mario 35? Me. I played it too. Nate, did you play Mario 35? I can't tell if your hand's up. I did. Okay, good, 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 good. What about Jordan? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Evan, did you play Mario 35? No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> it's a free game. <laughs> uh, what about what about Click? Did you play Mario 35? I didn't get a chance. I wanted to stream it, but my oh. capture card wasn't working. So, oh, the other day, I did realize I was wrong. Hold on. Didn't want to change the subject. I did play Kirby Fighters 2. Oh, okay. That was the way like, I played this Did week. you like that? It was cutie, but people have definitely put way too much time in there. So I was getting my Kirby card handed to me. <laughs> yes, dude. And like some of the characters can just juggle forever. So it's like Bayonetta all over again. Oh. Anyways, so, continue. What do you guys think about Mario 35? I, like I think it's I think it's great. It's fun, it's there was a, there was a nice like old school feud going on between uh, OJ and RGT, and Sean's not here, so <laughs> he I mean was, I, I have no choice to declare OJ the winner. He was too scared to show up. That's pretty much what happened here because he's too scared to show up. He was getting bodied on Twitter about the whole situation. So so yeah, basically what it comes down to is this: is that the game is fun, but RGT is not very good. You know, <laughs> that's what it, that's really what it comes down <laughs> oh, to. He's, no. just, he's not very good. He he posts all these fake. Oh, I won, whatever. But he's he's playing a bunch of scrubs, you know. Yeah. So that's really what it comes. I down mean, to. it's on the Switch. So. The disrespect. Yeah, he's damn. A bunch of scrubs. Damn. Oh. Know, he's playing a bunch of scrubs and playing a bunch of people that are dying on the first Goomba, which yeah, that happened. That? But I, but I, it's only it happened to me. But it only happened because I thought the controls were reversed. <laughs> So the first Wait. time I played, but then I started doing a lot better afterwards. Oh, so you didn't hit the jump button. You just ran right into the Goomba. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought the controls were reversed, but no, it's it's Sean it's was probably on the other side yelling in his house like, who did, who raised you? That's what he said on Twitter. <laughs> probably yelling at you on there. Uh, that's that's good. I You know, I, I do like the game. I think it's a cool idea. And they have the leveling system outside uh, of the, you know, playing the game and all that. Like you level up, you get new icons and all this. I'm not really sure why it's such a, a small thing like i guess it's i guess it could eventually become like a, a bigger game someday but it's available until i believe the end of march so yeah. when i go and i play some a couple of rounds and it's really fun but i do eventually move on to something else because it, you are basically running yeah. the same map over it's and over again that's because everyone keeps voting one one yeah i know Two it's different fun. levels people yeah, I know. I, I try to vote like weird levels, but I, yeah, I was watching no Sean's video, and when he was going through voting or he's going through the pipes, he's like, "I'm just doing one one. It's the easiest one." And I was like, "That that makes sense. That's why a lot yeah, of votes just, are going to that." All you end up, you go oh, great, like back to one one. It's a solid game. It has a good foundation. I know they're not going to patch it. They're not going to really change things. The items shouldn't be random. It should be like a store. If I have three hundred oh, coins. Idea. Good Whatever point. the most expensive thing should be like, okay, I get the star really quick. That should be a thing. They just, there's minor things if they want to make it a bigger deal that you could change here or there. For what it is, it's fine. The one thing that I, I hate when I get the clock to the full maximum. Because then I got in a match last night. It was me and one other guy. We probably went back and forth for 10 minutes of just playing against each other until I was just like, I don't care anymore. I want something to kill me. Cause this isn't this isn't even fun anymore i'm like got the star ran through eighteen thousand goombas i'm back up to 300 seconds oh it's counting down quick rinse and repeat fire flower i'm like okay it's been 15 minutes now i don't need a 20 minute match of mario 35. And wait, wait you just can't take the that more song? I play, the more i realize i'm not competing against the other players i'm just competing against myself not to screw up if you play slow you're not you're not going to get killed by the first Goomba. Should they do something then to like make it so it gets harder as you go along, right? What they should do is not keep bringing you back to world 1-1. One, one. Bring me to world 8 where shit's actually hard. That's a good idea. They should make it so that eventually everyone just goes to a really difficult level to where yeah, it's like, a lot of platforming. You get world, and, like, like 10 players, you should go into the later world. Like by default, you go to like world 5. Um, you shouldn't um, go back to world 1-2. Absolutely. I think that's a very good idea. Like once you get into like, I think maybe top 15, it gets harder. Top 10 gets harder. Top five yes. gets harder. One and two, it warps you guys to a different, it's like go, go and it's yeah, like go the hardest. All you know? over the place, not world one, one again. It's like, okay, well, yeah. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the first item. I'm going to get 15 seconds. I'm going to get the one up mushroom. I'm going to get an item. Oh, I got the star. I'm going to run through everything, accumulate 120 seconds. And you're gonna rinse and repeat the cycle. Like they just have to adjust the randomness of the levels to actually test your you skill. Be, Not like, oh, I didn't jump off the bounce right, so I just fell into the hole and died. You know, it'd be cool is if they had like a randomizer too that like 
affects everyone. So it's like a like a spinning die almost. And it'll pop up and it might say, oh, now the screen moves on its own. So it's just going to start moving or it's mm -hmm. like two times speed or something for like 30 seconds just to try to just mess with people if it goes too long kind of thing. You know, so that way they can keep the these games under like 10 minutes or something. Yeah, I mean, when you do get to like, what was it? Uh three players left or less than five like yeah the time speeds up where all of a sudden like an in-game you go like five in-game seconds and like a real world one yeah so you do have to you know kind of build up the time but it's still just I'm like i the longest match i had is 25 minutes which is kind of insane when you that think is a long time that is a very long time to be I, doing I, that <laughs> i had 15 20 minute matches as well yeah it's just it, it's it's a bit too easy for what they're trying to get out of it which is a pick up and play kind of mario battle royale style like tetris 99 ends way faster than that oh yeah like you're out quite yeah. half the time in tetris 99 that, that game is over so I, I, like, tetris 99 feels like you're playing against those other players who are attacking you in mario 35 it really just seems like you're playing against yourself not to screw up yeah you're I, I, playing very defensive aren't you just to kind of keep yourself in the game yeah yeah you're not like i see people they're running through everything it's like you can go that way, but if you just play slow and you're clearing out the things, you're building up time, and you're not going to make some stupid, silly mistake like, oh, I misjudged the jump, so I didn't die. Like, if you just play slow, you're still at plenty of time. You're going to collect plenty of coins to get the items to save your ass when needed, and you're not going to make those dumb errors. It's if you panic yourself because you're like, oh my god, a Bowser's in front of me and 45 Goombas, yeah, you're probably going to die. If not, you can just sit there and be like, well, I have the Firefly, I can just sit there and spit fireballs and kill them very easily and i'm not really losing that much time because you sent a wave of 50 goomba at me and each one's a second i wonder i wonder if they're planning on doing anything with this concept after this goes away if they're like testing it to see if people are that interested in the idea of this because it is a very different take on mario for multiplayer so i because it's going away at the end of march right I, I yeah. personally, I personally think they're just gonna release it as like maybe add some stuff or release it as a download and like like twenty bucks or like thirty bucks. Like a, yeah. Remember what's that game on the Wii U? What was it called? Tetris or no NES Remix? Yeah. That yeah. Reminds me. Of, yeah, I, I think it's gonna be something like that. Yeah, I'd be okay if they added more to it. If like like kind of came up with more ideas for it, fleshed it out a yeah, bit, and then did that. Do that. Cool. Expand yeah. on it, and, and for a game that isn't even emulation, where they built this whole thing to try to replicate the original game as close as they could the development team did a damn good job the physics underwater are a little off it actually yeah. makes it more challenging when you're underwater but whoever made it you guys did a damn good job replicating the original mario i agree i initially i thought it was emulation but i dug into a little and i read about it and um i think oatmeal dome tweeted about it that it was all it was all built from the ground up which is very mm -hmm. impressive yeah it's it's it almost is perfectly the same feeling, but like Nate said, there's some parts where it's just a little, little different. But it's it's a very, very good, good, yeah, you know, good attempt. When I when I was first playing it, I wasn't sure if it's because I've been playing the All Stars version of Mario One that the physics felt off to me. And then I saw the tweet saying, "Okay, this isn't emulation. This was ground up." I was like, "That explains why the phys physics feel a little off and why the water speed is all of a sudden like you just fucking tossed across the screen." And I'm like, "Holy shit! I don't remember the water messing me up that bad." But the water yeah. stages, at least those are difficult. You got the friggin' squids and fish; they mess your shit up.